All right, guys, I just received my Ice AC. I'm excited about it because I have a shed with no electricity and it gets pretty hot in there. So I wanted to try this new Ice AC. You did not do a good job opening this. So scissors. You need to do the sides. Um, thank you. So I have an EcoFlu backup generator in my shed, which will do just fine with the plug in this thing. I didn't want to do a window AC because it takes too much, um, too much electricity. So I got this bad boy. Hopefully it works. I'm hoping it works. So let's see, taking all the pieces out, it looks like this is the bottom piece. Um, I guess there's styrofoam in the bottom. Ooh, it rolls, so you can take it where you want. Pretty cool. Um, do we need this piece? What is this? Another styrofoam? Okay. Comes with instructions and lots of styrofoam. Um, looks okay in the bottom. Let me get her up at her box. You know what I mean? Yep, put her in the box. Go, go get her. Alright, guys. I'm trying to turn this thing around and see what we got here. What does this do? doesn't really, is it supposed to close? I don't know. So that doesn't look like it's doing anything. Okay, so I put that on the bottom piece. I thought this thing was supposed to come with ice packs. Let me, let me untape the rest of this stuff because I'm not going to be happy if it did not come with ice packs. Because it showed in the picture that it comes with ice packs. Let me see. Let's see how this thing works. Um, I thought it came with ice packs. Alright, let's see. Let's take this piece off. It's got like a lot of blue tape on it. Uh oh. It left residue on the tape. Oh my goodness. What in the world? Ugh. I don't know. That's disappointing. Okay. Let's look inside. What we have here are some more instructions. There's the ice packs. So I found a remote. I found some little gadget thingies right there. These ice packs are really small. I thought they were bigger bigger than that. Okay, so it's pretty small at the top. I have to figure out what that goes to. It does come with a remote. And has some buttons up here. Off, on, speed, mode, cool, swing, and timer. Hmm. Okay, and I'm guessing the bottom is for where the water drains into when it's going. I'm gonna have to test this thing out. I'm not happy about this tape that it's all sticky. I don't know. I'll have to figure out how to get that off there. That's a little disappointing, but it does roll. Wee! So you can like take it where you want. That's pretty cool. What is this thing for? Oh, I guess it's to lock it. Lock it down on there. And then there's like this front part. And it looks like this is supposed to do something. Um, yeah. So this is not moving. In the video that I watched, it opens and closes. And that's not moving. So how do I position it to where it moves? 
Well, that's not good either. Hmm. I don't know about this thing. I don't know why it's not opening and closing. I mean, I guess it's good that it rolls around and you can switch positions and roll it around. So, I guess I gotta fill up these ices, put them in the freezer, yeah. and I'm gonna read the instructions and I will come back to you guys with everything else ready to go so we can try it out and see if it actually works. I'll be back. Alright guys, so I'm in my shed. It's really hot in here. Obviously, because I don't have any air, so I'm going to um, be plugging in this uh, ice AC, see how it works. Um, I think I'm supposed to put water. I have water in the bottom, so I put the ice cubes up here. So, let's see how this works. Alright, it says do not use cool without water. So I have water in there. Let me just make sure I'm doing this right. Alright. So in the book where the ice things are, I'm trying to read it real quick. Okay, it says do not yet. It says, do not use ice packs as toys for children. Well, yeah, we already know that. Do not eat the crystals. I think once you fill up the ice packs, you don't need to do anything with them, but keep putting them in the freezer. You don't need to empty them. They have like special things inside of them. So both the upper bottom water tank can be added in ice packs. We suggest you to put in bottom water tank. It could hold up to a maximum of four ice packs. Please place the ice packs in first. Add water. Make sure water level is below max, which I did. I added a gallon into the bottom. Um, before add in water, make sure the water level is before max. Yes. You could also add an ice pack since the upper water tank to ice packs. Using the ice packs will drop the temperature and airflow which will create more effective cooling. Okay. So I feel like I did all that. So let's see. I'm going to put it on cool. And then I'm going to do speed. Um, so I got water in there. I got it on cool. Let's see. And it has like a little swing thing for this moves back and forth so it can go that way and that way which is good um let's see what else we got mode what is mode i don't know what the leaf means nighttime mode happy mode so i gotta figure all that out but there's a timer it's the timer one hour two hours three hours that's pretty cool so we'll, I'll just set it to three hours for now. It's on cool. And we'll see how the temperature goes. Let me close this. And I have a fan, another fan in here. So, and we shall see if this cools my shed down. Because it is hot in here. And then I have an app for my EcoFlow that'll tell me how many watts this is taking up, so. I mean, on my legs, it feels pretty good, so we'll see. I need to get me like a thermometer thing so I can see if there's any difference. But I also have a remote too, so. Which is cool, comes with a remote. I mean, it feels pretty good on my legs, so I think it's doing something. And the ice packs. Oh, there's already water going in there. So we're good to go. Nice. Okay, well. Um, I guess I'll come back and let y'all know if it cooled down and worked. So I'll be back with the outcome of it. Hey guys, so I've come back into the shed about an hour and a half later. 
and it is still extremely hot in here like really hot um so i don't know if this is the best cooling system for stuff i don't know it's not really working so still really hot in here really hot um, so if you guys it's like I think it's like 90 degrees outside right now and if you have a shed that you're trying to cool down this shed is 16 by 10 uh, this is not going to cool your shed down so just giving you a heads up on the outcome of this ice machine AC uh, let me see what the name of it is. That's the model number. It's still, it is extremely hot in here, guys. This did not cool down my shed at all. So, I'm going to have to go to option number two, which is probably going to be an AC window unit. Alright guys, thanks for listening in, comments, like, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye!